Uh, Twitter has introduced a new social feature called Fleets. Have you have you heard this? Yes. Or heard of this? Okay. This have, is, have you this seen is, it in action? This is number number two on my <laughs> list of news items. Twitter <laughs> Fleets. I like I like how I'm always like the things that you don't think you need to get to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so have you have you used it? Have you uh, have you like played around? No. With it? I mean I, I'm not a heavy Twitter user as it is. So yeah. Um, um, but it's, also like did you, like this you realize. This is also following like like Facebook just very recently introduced their vanishing messages and WhatsApp did as well. Yeah, like you you've used like stories on Instagram or you've seen stories on Instagram, right? Probably. Yes, yes. Like which is also basically what Snapchat did. Like these things are all just like just Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, like Snapchat is brilliant actually because they they invent everything social. It's but, so true. It's so yeah. true. Um so I had to like like it's it, it was uncanny because when I first tried it out, I'm like, wait, what app am I using? I was I was, I was like, am I am I in, did I accidentally go into like Instagram? But no, it was it was Twitter. really the the UI is ridiculous. Like it's it's like pixel by pixel almost. Um, and and so you know again, I'm not that's actually not my like what I'm gonna talk about. Um, yeah. But I mean, I you know I I think some people can kind of just make fun of like, oh, they're just copying. Instagram, who just copied Snapchat, but at the same time, I think is it you know, is it similar to Stories, or were you just using that as an example? Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so you it's see kind of like the vertical, again, like, or the, I, I don't know if this is that they might have more features than this, but you yeah. basically at the top of um, the I forget which page, you basically get bubbles, right? Oh, okay. And like for each you know a uh, person, you know you like Casey Lee would have a bubble. And you click into that, and then you know how stories you can keep appending videos and, and photos, and there's like a the little like timeline at the top. That it's exactly that's exactly what it is. That's crazy. Yeah, because Link, LinkedIn did that too, which is even weirder, I think. Oh yes, yeah. That's <laughs> for, right? no, one like, care, no one cares about LinkedIn, just, but like, yeah. <laughs> there's just no shame in plagiarism now, right? And you're right. No, it's all no, Snapchat. Yeah. It's, it's all like, like <laughs> it's it's crazy, like how much Snapchat influences these massive other products, right? And so. Yeah. And it, again, like I, I'm not that critical of it because at, at the end of the day, I think, you know, these things should not, if, if there's a pattern that works and people are familiar with, I actually think that's a good thing, right? Like yeah. you, they shouldn't reinvent how something works just because they're not like Instagram. If it works right. well and people have like, you know, generally adopted it, then that's fine. Um, so I, I, I don't actually care about that. Uh, but um, <laughs> I just like, so, so. It's interesting because I think, um, you know, in general, I'm not a fan of this this feature. Like, I don't see myself using it. I don't see the the per- like. I I wouldn't. I don't think I'm gonna get a lot out of it. But they just launched it, so who knows? So okay, hold on though. So I, I must have mistaken what these are. Then are are yep. like I I thought fleets were literally just tweets that disappear after a while. So yes, I. Th- so th- this is where I, I haven't fully played around with it. I think that is true, yeah. but I think these also are appearing like... Oh, okay. They're not just appearing in your regular feed or whatever. No, no. They, they don't appear in your regular feed. So the, I guess, interface to view them is at the top. But I, but I think right. this is very similar with Instagram stories, though, right? Like yeah, they don't, I think it They is. don't stay around I think forever. Exactly so. the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, um, I think that's how it works. But yeah, I, I just, like, again, overall, like not... Not a fan of this. Um, and again, maybe it's just because I'm I'm old. Uh, old but yeah. <laughs> uh, the the thing is, like, I, I don't know how like you see Twitter, but Twitter's been an, like Twitter's always been an interesting. I guess you could call it a social network because um, it's just yeah. in general, like you know, that's how you classify it. But I've always found it an interesting um, just thing that exists, and I think. You know, Twitter's been a weird thing because I think you look at some of the other companies like Facebook and Instagram, it's like they have a much more clear purpose, right? Like they're much more focused and you kind of know what they're about. And, you know, they, I think they've been much more focused in ha- like what they're building and, and you know, what, what they kind of roll out in terms of features. Whereas Twitter, I think, has always been kind of caught between, you know, is this, is this more of like a public, almost like news service or is it a social yep. network where I connect with people, right? And I think people use it for both, but yep. I, I've always been of the opinion that like I, I've always enjoyed Twitter and it's less so now that they're doing more of these things as less of a social network, you know, in the traditional sense of I'm doing it to share my life and connect with others and things like that. 
and more of just like a really valuable service where I can like, you know, learn things, see what's happening in real time. Um, well, yeah. Well, well, it's interesting you say that. And, and I think I've talked to you about this before or you, you might have read it or, or heard it or whatever. But like the way that you use Twitter, like as more like you're consuming information, you're not really there to connect and, and whatever and see what your friends are up to or whatever. That apparently was really the founder of Twitter's like his yeah. vision. Like, like what's his name? The guy who also did Medium? Um, so one of them, so Ev, Ev Williams, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think that, that's the guy who did Medium as well, right? Yeah, and then Jack Dorsey was a... Uh, um, okay, so not Jack other, Dorsey, but yeah, other, the, the yeah. Williams guy. Yeah. So because he said, he said he never liked the idea, or, or, or he himself, at least in particular, yeah, didn't totally. really like social networking. Yeah. It wasn't about like, oh, I want to connect with you and talk to you and all this stuff like that. He was more about just, I want to put stuff out and have people read it or whatever, but I don't want to have a two way. It's not like a two way thing. It's just really, yeah. I want to just put stuff out there. Or, right? or I want to read, medium. I want to read what like Bill Gates or Barack Obama is, is saying. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. it's not about I having a read conversation about or what a random, you know, person yeah. ate for lunch. Or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, continue. So I, I think that that's how I've, I've always seen it. And, and I think again, it's, it's like, there's a, you know, if you want to get that sort of, um, you know, more social media aspect, I feel like that's already solved. You know, there, there's the Facebook, there's a the Snapchat, there's Instagram, whatever you want, really. So I've always felt that Twitter was like the last kind of stronghold for not going to like social media. Yeah, it's true. Right? Yeah, it's um, true. Even so things true. like YouTube, right? I think YouTube initially was much more geared towards they just like learn random things, right? Or like watch random videos. Whereas now I would say like 90% of it is like, you know, the kind of blogger, like basically like creative um, uh, vlogs and, and kind of YouTubers, right? Uh, which, is, which is great. But I think, again, it's, it's not that far removed from, you know, what you, what you see scrolling through Instagram, right? Um, it, yeah. It's very close, right, in terms of, of content. So I think at the end of the day, the thing that, that kind of bugs me, and I guess it's turning into a rant from again, uh, <laughs> not a young person, but I think the thing that bugs me is, is, is like all those other things are very optimized for your own use, right? Like they're yeah, very yeah. optimized for like, you know, basically, and, and this being maybe overly critical, but I think that when people post things on Facebook, it's more for their own benefit than others, right? Like I yep. think majority of the stuff posted on, on those networks, if you ask someone, oh, why did you post that, right? They might yep. not tell you directly, but I don't think they're posting it to be like, oh, I'm I'm changing the world or I'm educating others, right? It's like it's, it's so like, true. It's look so at true. a picture of what I did t- today, right? And it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. no one needs to know that, right? It, it's again, but and I'm not critical of that. I'm just saying like that's I think it's actually a very valuable thing because you know I think um, people need an outlet, right? To to sure. to just tell people what they're doing, um, kind of document their lives, whatever it is. But I always felt Twitter was was not that, and what you know the the best part of Twitter for me is actually. Um, that aspect of information that is shared that maybe the it, people other than the person sharing it are going to get benefit from. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, like I think, you know, like just recently with election night, right. Twitter is still like, it's still probably the best place to go. Just get like up to the second um, information of what's happening. Right. And there's a lot of commentary yeah. and things like that. But again, there's a lot of stuff on there that is just, it's, it's, I think a great service for that kind of something's happening somewhere in the world. I want to see a range of what respected people you know, um, and various opinions are saying about that. And, and I can, I can get that no matter where I am. And it's a free service, right? It's amazing. I don't have to pay for it. It used to be that you didn't have, you didn't have any ads in your face either. Right. Um, now there's ads, but it's, it's still not on the level of like, I don't know the last time you were on Instagram or Facebook, but one, it's, it's ridiculous amount of ads. And it's also very like targeted and manipulative towards like the things you're doing right whereas twitter i feel like the fact that they're not a great ad network like i've never i've, I've never seen an ad on twitter that was like oh i want that or like oh how did yeah, you know yeah, that yeah. every twitter ad i'm like what is it like this is so random like why are you showing yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. right which which is yeah so 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 yeah i think i think it comes down to um a lot of social networks are just geared towards the you know making the person sharing information um to their benefit, whereas Twitter I've always seen as very, like it's closer to, I think initially in my mind, something like a Wikipedia, right? Yeah. Than a Google, right? Where- No, it's so true. It, yeah. It's so true. Like it's, I, I just about to say, like when you mentioned the election results, like Google is the first thing that came to mind and it's like, and then I started thinking, yeah, I never thought about that, that 
like I never go to Facebook or LinkedIn to search for news or search for a topic, right? Yeah. It's I'm always you're, I'm always in there for like, oh, I got a notification bubble. I guess I'll check what this is. And yeah. the only yeah. thing I really care about when I'm in there is if someone liked my own post or reacted to my post. Yeah. I don't really care about what other people are posting, right? Um, whereas Twitter, it's kind of like Google. It's like I, I go there specifically because I'm like, oh shoot, this crazy thing happened. I, I got to look it up or whatever, mm-hmm. right? Um, yeah, I, don't know, I never never thought about that, but it's it's, it's very true, yeah. and it's it's sad that it's being. Well, I'll tell you, like now, I, I will be honest, like Twitter is it, it, even just thinking right at this moment. Twitter is something I think I, I respect more than I enjoy. Like I respect what Twitter is versus actually like I actually don't use it that much, and I don't I don't yeah. right, whatever. But I, I've always respected Twitter for being hyper focused, right? I hate when people say the word laser focused, but <laughs> laser focused, right? Like like yeah. they, like I love the fact that their their feature set has really not changed since they launched. And even when they first came out, I was like, how the heck can this be a thing? How can how can status updates <laughs> yeah. of 140 characters actually be something useful, right? Yeah. And it's yeah. incredible. And 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 remember that app that took it way too far? Uh was it Yo? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was literally just Yo. I was like, okay, that's 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 way uh, too far down that road. Right? Yeah. Um yeah. But yeah, it, it's it's it is kind of sad. Like I, I mean, I didn't see fleets yet. Um, I just read about it, and yeah, yeah. that that's what it, what you mentioned. Also, yeah, like what you mentioned though about how you respect it, but you, but you don't really engage with it. You know, maybe yeah. as much as some of these other things. I think that's really the, the core problem here, right? At the end of the day, you know what? At Twitter as it was, it was never going to be at the scale of something like an Instagram. Right, right. In terms of how much of the world would adopt and use it, and I think that's a problem, right? Like they be they are they're, they're a company, right? Like any other company, they're also a public company, and I think they just kind of got in a trap where, realistically, that original val- like product that um, you mentioned, like that Ev, like Ev Williams and the original founders yeah, created, yeah, yeah. it wasn't a, a, like from an enterprise standpoint in terms of like sorry building out a venture or company, like it was not a great product. It, it would right. not appeal to a lot of people, right? And right. I think that's what they've been struggling with. And so I think, again, this is um, and it wouldn't it wouldn't have all those like social the social dilemma stuff where like it, it yeah. doesn't have the same like addictive nature and pulling you in and like doing all these things to yeah. like. Get but your they, they've been trying to do that, right? And I think that's right. that's kind of the sad thing here. And it makes sense because they're a company; they need to make money, they need to be able to do things. But I just don't think they're inherently. Um, able to do that the same way you know facebook and instagram does which i like because i don't think they should be those things but um i think that's ultimately what's, what's happening here right it's, it's like they're trying to push more features to like bring in more of that audience right yeah because again it can't just be those you know um news nerds or twitter nerds right that yeah. that use twitter it, they have to bring in a, a bigger audience so i think i think that's part of the, the problem and and again like i think um it's unfortunate there's not more Wikipedias in the world, right? Like, yeah, I, I, can't, yeah, yeah. I actually can't even think of, other than Wikipedia itself, like, I can't think of very many things at that scale that consciously decided, no, we're not going to be a business, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, so, and, and that's yeah. the sad thing about Twitter, right? It's like, like, like you kind of nailed it there. Like, like, this is really a problem with the shareholders putting pressure on the company to grow. Because, I mean, Twitter could be a very successful company and just stay a certain size and not yeah. grow to be huge. And be very focused on this is what we are, right? It's kind of like I like when like like remember when the the, the light phone came out, um, like that very minimalist like phone, and and all these things are coming out. Like these, these phones are never going to be as big as an iPhone or whatever, right? But it's like if you decide as a company we're going to focus and stay this size because this is who we are, right? Like yeah, th- like yeah. It's it's really just, it's just it's sad when all these companies just like need to grow to a certain size and then start really abandoning what they are and ultimately make the company worse, right? Like, it's just, um, yeah. Yeah, or at least worse for, you know, in my viewpoint, but I'm sure that there are a lot of people that are going to be super happy with fleets and they're going to well, love it. But, <laughs> I mean, it's it's the same thing I was complaining about last week, right? This this Okay, we should really just call our podcast like Grumpy Old Men. Like, <laughs> like the, the same thing about, about like, on-demand versus whatever right there's mm, clearly yeah. a way bigger market for on demand like yeah. the majority of the world does not want like to pay a couple hundred dollars a month for for channels that you never watch and whatever right um 
And, and so, but for me personally, I'm like, I'm losing out on that or whatever, right? But the the, the market demand and the way technology is going, like, it, it's just way, way more, right? But I mean, it, it, it's almost like, again, why you see like, like old, like, like older people, it's like, oh, no, vinyl is way better than MP3 and all this <laughs> stuff like that, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I just want yes. the vinyl version of Twitter, basically. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's Old Man Sedanker ranting about uh, fleets. Uh, yeah, very interesting stuff there.